This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Hello everyone, welcome back to the another Tech Enthusiast tutorial. And in this video, I'll show you how to set up a clean desktop. So if your desktop looks like this, you are definitely doing something wrong. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is to how to hide the icons on your desktop the lazy way. So to hide them, you will just right click on your desktop, go to the view and uncheck show desktop icons option. And this is it. You completely hidden your desktop icons. But as I mentioned before, this is the lazy way of doing it. So I will go back ahead to the view and check the show desktop icons. And here, as you see, you have a lot of the files on your desktop once again. So how do you get rid of them? I suggest that if you go to the file explorer and here you have a lot of the folders, for example, the documents, you will put all of your documents, which are on your desktop to the documents folder. If you have the pictures on your desktop, you will go ahead to the pictures folder and put them right here. This is how you categorize the files on your desktop. And uh, just a quick tip, if you don't find this quick access in File Explorer useful and you want this PC to be or this PC tab to be a first thing that you see when you open up the File Explorer, then you will go ahead to the three dots on the top, go to the options and here open File Explorer 2, you will change from quick access to the this PC. Then you will click apply and OK. And then you will close up your File Explorer. And then if you open up File Explorer once again, it should open with this PC. And many of the laptops and also pre-built PCs come with a pre-installed applications which aren't quite useful. So what I recommend is that you completely uninstall them. So to do that, you will go ahead to your settings and then you will go ahead to the app section and apps and features. Here, you will just simply uninstall every single application that you aren't using. For example, the Xbox apps that I also don't use, you will simply click on the three dots, uninstall and click uninstall. And you will repeat the same procedure for every single app that you aren't using. So if we are in the apps and features tab already, I recommend that we also disable the background apps. So Windows 11 actually introduced a worst way of doing that. So disabling the apps in the background. So if you want to do that right now on Windows 11, go to the three dots once again, and here click to the advanced options. And down below you have background apps and permissions. And here currently set on the recommended way, so power optimized. And I recommend that you put this to the never, so this will disable the app running in the background. And you will repeat this process to every single app that you don't want to be running in the background. So once again, in the settings app, scroll down to the apps section and then scroll down to the startup applications. So this startup application usually tends to increase the loading time of Windows when booting up your PC. And this is something that we are trying to avoid or decrease the actual booting time. So I would suggest if you aren't using all of this application that you simply turn them off. Uh, in this case, for example, it's Microsoft OneDrive, so put it to the off and then you will just repeat the process to the every single application that you aren't using. And in the app settings, here go to default apps and here I recommend that we change the default browser in Windows. Here, scroll down till you see your preferred browser and click in this case on Firefox and make sure that you click here, set the default, and this is pretty much it. And still in the settings, if we go to the accessibility tab, here we have the visual effects. So if you have some problems with your GPU or your GPU isn't powerful enough, I would just suggest that you turn off transparency effects to off. And with that said, if you are enjoying the content, make sure that you hit that subscribe and like button down below the video. And also let's hear a quick message from today's video sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes that we can take to level up our careers. Personally, I've been looking at the class from Sean Dalton called Adobe Lightroom, finding your unique editing style. And in this class, I was most interested in learning basics of Adobe Lightroom. I would suggest if you are interested to learn something new to join Skillshare community and then, for example, set yourself a goal to watch a few classes and then you will see how it goes from there. 
So if you have Skillshare Premium Membership, you will have unlimited access to all Skillshare classes and additional features such as offline viewing. So if you want to learn something new or level up your game, Skillshare is offering us one month free for the first 1000 people that use the link provided in video description down below. So the next thing that I recommend is to install custom Windows cursor. So for example, if you got bored of your default Windows cursor, I suggest this one, Windows 11 Cursors Concept version 2. And if you have already the file from DeviantArt, go ahead to your downloads folder, make sure that you extract the zip, go ahead into the folder, here select your preferred color of it. Personally, I do like the dark version on the install. Right click on it, show more options and click install, click open, click yes. And uh, here in the pointers, select the scheme to the Windows 11 cursors, dark version two. Click on it, click apply, click yes. And this is pretty much it. And also the next thing that I recommend is actually translucent taskbar, which I also use. So make sure that you get it from the GitHub or the Microsoft store It's completely free. And then in the bottom right, when you have translucent taskbar installed, right click on it, make sure that you open at boot and click on the desktop. And I really personally like acrylic and uh, then you will just repeat the process for every single tab that you see here. So enabled and uh, make sure that you click on the acrylic. And then we are going to install a few rain meter skins. The two that I recommend the cyber search, which is basically the Google search widget and the modular clocks for the clock on your desktop. So get both of them on DeviantArt. I'll put a link in video description down below. So once you have the files, make sure that you have the rain meter installed, go to your downloads folder and uh, here click on the each individual RM skin file, click install. Then you will go ahead to the rain meter. And if you have the cyber search you have for the Google, Reddit or the YouTube, I will just click here on the Google, click on it. And uh, here we have the widget. So if you want, you can also make it dark. So double left click on it, it should be dark. And if you want to, you can also make it once again back to the white. And this is pretty much it. As you see, the widget is here on the desktop. And then we are going to install the modular clock. So click on it, click install. Then we will need to install Jack's core. So click here to install. And then we are going to go to the widgets. And here we have the modular clocks. And here at the bottom left, you have the activate skin, click on that. Then we go to the general and here click your preferred uh, style of the widget. So I personally like this one. And uh, then we will close this configurator, put it to the middle and right click on it, align. We are going to click horizontally centered and then we are also can select a vertically centered and then centered. So then we are going to put it a little bit on the top. And as you can see, I think it looks quite nice right now. So if you want to, you can simply use this search and at the top you also have here this widget. If you want to, you can also put the weather in your taskbar. So to do that, you go to the taskbar settings and here enable the widget. But be careful because widget also use some of the RAM of your system. So make sure that you are logged in with your Microsoft account and the weather should load up. This is pretty much it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure that you drop a like down below the video and also subscribe to the channel would be actually much appreciated. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And once again, I will also put a links down below in the video description and I see you all in the next video. Peace.